Hi guys, hope everybody is having a good day. Um, today I'm going to show you a few items I've picked up in my local auction. Um, so I've got some quite interesting items. So um, the first two I there's some. This is more the the run of the mill stuff. We've got this um, really cool uh, Clyburn style, but wedged type spanner. Obviously you uh, push that in to adjust the wedge and then slide it to close it, push that in and slide to close. We've got um, a 10 inch and an eight inch or a 12 inch and an eight inch version of that. Really cool, quite oily these things actually. We've got a rather sharp Billings and Spencer at number E. I'm not sure what the condition of Alex's is, but it's a rather sharp one. So if, you, if this is better than yours, Alex, let me know. We've got a really cool double ender, um, really cool double ender um, um, with an offset, which is kind of cool, um, kind of funky. I'm trying to look to see if there's any markers names, but I can't see any. Anyway, that's funky. We've got these sort of French double bar coach wrench. Um, I think that's some kind of a mark that's probably the maker's mark i love the finial at the end so ornate and um, we've got another more plainer double bar coach wrench and then we've got this one here as well which is really nice with these really extenuated and it's got the finial it's got someone's name on it j Burr something um and we've got the, he's obviously the owner has stamped his name and done a lovely job though nice and neat very oh, always I'd say that, I'd take it back, that was obviously his first attempt. But yeah, so those are the more run-of-the-mill stuff. Didn't buy the lots for any of these. I'll show you some of the more interesting stuff now. I picked up this footprint, number 342, um, which is kind of large. Um, it's the biggest uh, footprint I've, I've got in my collection. Let's have a look at the length of it. Um, 12 inches long so it's pretty good you can see it's the improved footprint design so I had a quick look through my uh, collection that's a 341 a 340 what a two this is a 341 footprint is that say improved I'm not sure if it does um, and then we've got the the number 340 which fits here and then We've got this one, which you think it'd be a 339, but it's a 336, 536. So I don't quite understand the measurements. It does say footprint improved. So this is circa 1900. I just had a look in the book and there's three sizes. You can see there 42, 41 all the way down. Um, footprint. And they are circa, it's got some numbers there, got a 30, 536, 537, 538, and they're all the same, are they? So it's got the sizes and it's circa 1900. So the, I think that's the complete set. I don't think it's all the numbers, but I think it's all the sizes. So what size is that? So we've got a four and a half, a six, a nine and a 12. So, yeah, a bit of fun. So, we'll move them to the side and we'll uh, have a look at what else we picked up. So, I picked up this wonderful Western Paintant, um, England and France. I had to buy a whole box just for this one spanner. And then I put the box back in the auction. I didn't even want it posting. Didn't want to pay the postage on it. But it's a Western Paintant, England and France, Y Timmins. Um, and this was made in three, uh, four sizes. It was made, oh no, so it, yeah, four sizes, um, an eight, a 10, a six, eight, 10, 12. Uh, this is the straight one. So I'm guessing that's the eight and that's the 12. Um, and this is the banana shaped one. So there's only three examples of the we uh, Timmins Western Paintant from 1861. Um, my collection seems to be growing of these. I've done really well. Um, I did a swap for this one recently, you might have saw in the video, 
Western Paintant. So that's an eight, an eight and a, a ten. So the two mid middle sizes in lovely condition. And then with my buddy John from Northern Ireland, I did this swap, which is a Western Paintant. And this has got the curved handle and it has the offset head, which some of you might remember. And then here we have the, this one's the uh, quite pitted, but you can see there it says Western Paintant. And this is the, it's good on one side and rubbish on the other. But this is the, also the same, the 10 and the 12, you know, the, um, the eight and the 10. I did contact, I did uh, uh, email Ron who wrote the book and he's never come across these before with the banana tail and the offset jaw. So he, he said he's too late now for his new book, but those are interesting. So he's only come across the straight jaw and then obviously I have this one, which I swapped with my buddy Leslie from the US. So this is basically um, five now. We've got the straight head, the offset head and this type. So that's a pretty extensive collection from a spanner, which is uh, um, 160 years old. Um, company very very early uh, design of of spanners so yeah so I was really pleased to get another one for the collection I can imagine it's going to be a very long time if at all I can find another one because everybody who I know who had one I've done a swap with so I think I'm pretty much there now and um, I don't know if I can get any more sizes I'm guessing if there's a six here and a, and a 12 there there could be a six here a 12 there and I know that there's another design where the thumb screws at the front, not the back. So I'm guessing there's 10 known possible, possible known sizes and models available. And I've got five. So I'm 50% the way there of completely reuniting the whole collection. So that was one of the highlights. Let's look at one of the other highlights. Right, guys. So here's a few more. We've got a Rapide number two um adjusting adjusting spanner with the uh open floppy head and then the uh closed head this is a nice i'm pretty sure i've got a rapid number one in a drawer we've got a universal a universal number two patent uh british make really nice writing on this lovely lovely detail to it and this works in the same way floppy head jobby but the uh what an absolute beauty is this Wilson's Paintant double action, if you can see there, and it's got a hand and a heart, I'm not sure what that means. Um, very, very early um, adjusting spanner. Um, really, really nice. Now, this here is Mr. Wilson, um, and here is the Wilson's double action from 1861, new pattern 1869. And you can see here, I think that's the new pattern, 1869. And you can see it's got the hole through the screw. Um, and this is a very, very rare, unusual adjustable spanner, double action spanner. So, and it, I think it come in um, 12, 14, 16, 18, 8, 10. So it comes in a lot of sizes, up to 18 inches. So really, really cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't have such a grand collection to show you. But I can show you my other uh, Wilson's double action spanner. So I've got two now. So I think I've got the six and the eight. Yep, yeah, six and eight inch. So I think I've got the two smallest sizes of the Wilson double action spanner. So that's really, really cool. So there's only another six to go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, and let's move these out of the way. Now this is a super, super, super... Um, clever wrench I picked up recently and this is a FM you can see here FM company FMR company sons um, and this is a lovely adjusting spanner I don't know much about it but anyway I found the adverts which I'm going to show you now and this one is another one this is called this is by the same company FRF is it PRF or PMRF? Whatever, anyway. And it's got here the um, 
the name of it the is it the grippy or something and this is very cool it's got teeth this side and teeth this side and you can adjust it it won't go that way rock solid to put the tension on it but obviously you can adjust it to get different angles and obviously you can obviously open the jaws but these are the two the two main designs um, from this company. I don't know of any others, but they're really, really funky. So I've found the advert, so I'll show you the adverts for both of these. We've got the gr Grippy or something. And what's this one called again? The New Leather. I think it's called the New Leather. So I'll show you the adverts and I'll show you the last thing I picked up. Those adverts are really funky, so I was really pleased to pick up those two really unique items. Um, I'll show you the other item I picked up, which is the biggest item. This was one lot. This is a Brillium Copper um, Ampco, made in the USA. Absolute monster wrench, absolutely monster. 18 inch, and it's mega, mega, mega. Um, I'm just going to see if I've got any other Ampco items. So I think I got this from Resto Rob. This is a Ampco, um, obviously, which is um, beryllium copper alloy, aluminium copper. Quite toxic if you polish it. So I'm glad that one came already polished. Um, I've got a couple of. I've got this nice. I've got a couple of these sort of Amco, you can see there, CU, very toxic, Amco NOS scrapers. And then we've got a couple of Amco um, spanners. Got one of these off my buddy Darren in Wales. Thank you very much, Darren. Um, really cool. So these beryllium copper tools, the British company is Telco. And they made, they made the uh, British version of it, which is a Telco beryllium spanner. And then the British pipe wrench is more similar to like um, a record. But this is very, very similar um, to the American, um, oh, I forgot the name of it now. Let me see if I can find one. There we go, Tremo, that's it. So here's a Tremo. And you can see it's very, very similar the head to a Tremo pipe wrench. So. So yeah, really cool to pick those up. Some interesting items. Uh, really happy with the Western Paintant. And really happy with the um, the Gyrup or something, whatever it's called. Uh, really happy with the um, really, really interesting Wilson's Paintant. And the fantastic, um, wonderful uh, Western Paintant. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. All right, take care, bye.